Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. In 1989, the Berlin Wall fell down, communism in Eastern Europe collapsed, and the Cold War ended. People raised and toppled their oppressive governments. The power of the people prevailed, right? Well, not quite. After a few years, it became clear that the term fall of communism is, in fact, a misnomer. Communism didn't collapse spontaneously, and people power had nothing to do with it. And it's a truth that it's been so well hidden that I don't know that it ever will come out fully clear in whose interest was the change of government in Eastern Europe. Well, KGB was an integral part of the whole Gorbachev's perestroika. They were very instrumental in the massive disinformation campaign trying to present the policies of perestroika and glasnost uh, as, as, a, as a reforms for democracy, not as an uh, operation for salvaging uh, the regime. I think that it's fair to say that, uh, that, that uh, Secretary of Defense Cheney and Deputy Secretary of State Eagleburger, um, Condi Rice and I all uh, felt that the reforms were going to fail. If you can effectively shape the way someone sees the world, then they're going to act the way you want them to act. And so it's controlling the behavior, in this case of states, by creating a false picture uh, of reality or creating a picture of reality that will bring about the results you want. We witnessed the revolution without realizing who were the winners and who were the losers. It actually came uh, in the shape of a KGB power, a worst possible scenario. Uh, that Bush thought it was very smart, very wise to, to, take, a much, to take a very low-key approach uh, to the end of the Cold War. I think he was right. Yeah, because Gorbachev promised to democratic changes. Uh, and indeed, James Baker. Uh, as Secretary of State for uh, for George Bush, uh, told Gorbachev the same thing that uh, Hopkins had told Stalin, namely, if you want anything, just tell me. Now, when you tell American politicians and American elected officials you've won the Cold War, it's a message they want to hear. Most of what Gorbachev tried to implement was worked out theoretically under Andropov in different think tanks, patronized by either KGB or Central Committee's uh, uh, International Department of both. The West never understood the Soviet system as such failing to comprehend why it was inherently aggressive. Uh, many of our politicians, and especially our diplomats, uh, fail to understand this, uh, this fundamental feature of America's adversaries, and that has uh, caused us uh, serious national security damage as a result. This administration has had uh, more than the usual propensity for self-deception. Uh, Condoleezza Rice, who fancies herself an expert on Russia, uh, is one of those who, in the language of the Foreign Service, of which once I was a member, has gone native. The United States knows very well that there are 400 Russian spies in the United States and doesn't do anything about it. Spying by Russia today is at uh, Cold War levels, which is unprecedented. I would say they have um, they have long-range goals, uh, have no interest whatsoever in the supporting the even the survival of the United States, much less its uh, its uh, prosperity. Prospective plan of the Russian Putin government is really to make to become uh, a boss of Europe. Communism was never conclusively destroyed never condemned and didn't disappear. The only thing that strikes me is that uh, it had become politically incorrect to continue worrying about the Soviet Union now that communism was dead. I don't see any victory here except the one that was proclaimed in Moscow. If Charles Manson was uh, let out of prison and moved into your neighborhood, and he changed his name to Charlie Brown. I, you can call him anything you want, John Smith. He'd still be Charles Manson. So, of course, reality uh, catches the American people uh, by surprise. This has happened quite a few times in the 20th century. The more idealistic, as it were, the more uh, 
people have indulged their own ideas of the world rather than dealing with it as it is, the more uh, harsh surprises uh, have come upon the American people. Well, I think it's going to take history uh, to judge whether the transformation of the Soviet Union into an extended Russia was part of a plan or whether it was reflected the victory of the West. I don't think we can make that determination now. I think it's, we have to wait to, until it's too late. How much do we know what happened yesterday? How much do we know what is happening today?